Welcome to our live broadcast. We are here in beautiful, sunny, hot <laughs> Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Yes, Myself, we are. Rick Hunt. And as always, my two dads bringing us to you live here. Our Eastern Lead 05 girls getting ready to kick off against Kentucky United. And uh, Rick, you did a little bit of background on us there for the girls team and where we're at and what we're looking at and all that good jazz. But uh, before we get going here, I'm going to hit the lineup real quick. Katie's in at keeper, wearing her black kit. McKenna Ella, your center backs. Mags, Sophie Weiler, your outside backs. Lily at that holding mid. Ava and Rylan as your centers. Anna at striker. Lauren at left forward. And Eva at right forward. So that's your starting 11 since we're out here already looking at the field and they're out here ready. And uh, Rick Hunt, give us a little background on today's game. What are we looking at? Yes, this is our final KPL game before, um, you know, states here or, or the preliminaries, I guess, in two weeks, uh, which is hard to believe. I mean, in two weeks, the month of May is chalked up, right? So. Go ahead. Oh, you're good. Okay. I'm just making sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. And, um, and yes, we're playing a Kentucky United team. I must, I, I'm going to guess this is their – I don't actually know the answer to this, but I'm going to guess this is their first season being up uh, at this level of KPL. And uh, they did come off a big win. They had a big win against Nelson, um, which Nelson's a much improved team. We played um, at Nelson this, this year. Uh, they are We are number two in our KPL rankings, which sounds weird that our team's number two in something. But uh, Javanon's number one. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. We, you know, that's just one of those things. And here we go. So, yeah, and uh, Kentucky United is um, – you know, they're in the in the bottom two here in the, the division. Which really, you know, <laughs> a foul already. <laughs> Five second <laughs> foul. Yeah. You know, in this league, being in the bottom of the top ten is crazy high. Yeah, right, right exactly. You know, just the competition you got to face, I mean, it, it's really something else. All right, starting off here, we got a scoreboard. Uh, Kale and Michaela are over here running the scoreboard for us, so we got everything working. Got my scoreboard up, and we are rolling right along. And already, Eastern Leap pressing up into their attacking third. Can you put that on there so I can see the picture? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. If you don't care, I just need to glance at it real quick. All right, we're working out of the press box today, at, outside of our normal Rick Hut Productions here. Uh, Press box in it, which normally when the weather's bad, we like being up in the press box. Today it's not bad because we have a fan on us, but the turf was hot and we were going to have to be on the track, which was rough. So yeah, that was rough. <clears throat> so we decided to go in the press box here where it's shade and a little bit cooler, and then we got a fan on us, which makes it a little nice. But uh, it's hard for you to look through the monitor and, and get everything going. Right now, Anna thrown in. Kentucky United plays it out of bounds. We'll get another throw here. And uh, the Eastern Lead 03 boys coming off a 4-1 yep, win. Yep. Uh, they played right before us here, which was nice to see. So we had prom last night for four of yeah. our players. Um, actually, five. Lauren was a hurricane. Yeah. Had their, uh, had their prom. So all the girls just looked beautiful. And yeah, it was a great event. Yeah, it was. it's nice. But it makes for a long night, right? Oh, and my Early gosh. morning. So. Yeah, <laughs> two-and-a-half-hour ride. To play some soccer. All right, ball out. Going to be Eastern Elite throw again. So here in the first, uh, really, two minutes, we're already pressing up. And uh, Ella's up for the football lines past the 40. McKenna's at the 42. This one rolls out. Kentucky United, they get a foot on it. But, no, nope, this one's going to go out of bounds. So it'll be Eastern Elite throw again. So right now, Kentucky United cannot get possession. And Eastern Elite here working. Into that attacking third. Sophie's going to take a throw. Goes down the line, blocked over. Ava's going to pick this one up. Oop. Went off the back of her foot. She fights her way back into it. No worries. Over to Soph. Soph's going to go across the field to Lily. Lily at that defensive mid. Going to get it back to Ella. Ella plays it forward. Looking for Eva. This one's going to roll through. And Kentucky United's going to let it go out of bounds. Eva starting today. That's nice. I, the girl, yeah, the girl uh, let that one go out of bounds, but it went off of her player. She didn't see it. Stuck, Dave. <laughs> there we go. 
So still Eastern Leap working up the sideline on the far side. Mag's taking these throws. I forgot what I was typing there. I forgot to do my welcome. All right, so we got uh, Stacy Smith, Coach Sky's mom, and congratulations to oh, that yes. crew. They're going to be gaining a member. Sherry Quinn rooting on Ava. And Thomas Howe, Poppy and Franz watching from Lexington. That's Anna's grandparents. Mags with the cross. Side net. Ooh. Ooh. Nana watching from Point Pleasant, cheering on Katie, Callie, Ella, McKenna, and the team. All right, so everybody welcome in. And uh, I'm trying to finish my typing here real quick while we wait. Goal kick. Things are moving a little slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hot. I don't know what it the turf is. It is hot. Did. They will, should have a water break here. They did in the boys' game anyway. And Played up pressure by Lily. She's pressure. not allowing nice a turn. Work. Look at this. That's what we like to see. So this will be interesting, though. I mean, there's two ways this game could go. Um, <clears throat> you know, when you play a team that is not of the caliber of what we've seen in the last four or five games, Ryland pressing this one up, catches Lauren. Lauren. What you're saying is is exact. What you're getting ready to say you go is ahead, exact. Dude. Nope, you're not doing it. No, you're no, 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 I'm not by any stretch. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, you are totally Ryland correct. In one. It is. It's a different caliber of game. You um, you wouldn't think it would be. Oh, my gosh. I forgot. When you play on a field like this, yeah. you run for days when the ball oh, goes yeah. back there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. you're totally 100% correct on what you're about to say. But uh, So, you know, we came off of playing some of the top teams in the nation in the Premier One League, and now we're backing down, so to speak, to the KPL and then one of the teams that's not ranked very high. Even though they're a quality team, uh, I just feel like you always see that the the pace is off just a bit, you know, a bit slower, and you know maybe a little bit um, change in momentum and so forth on the field. And I hope our girls don't just settle in because you know it's a Sunday, you know, like you said, four of them or five, five, five of them five went, of to prom went to prom last, last night, night, yeah. And uh, I'm sure stayed up late and had a good time and all that good jazz. But that takes a toll on you out here in this you know 90 degree weather. No question. So we'll see. Hopefully the girls will play up to their pot potential here right now and make it work. So that went from Mags to Ella over to Ryland. Al Casto, Al and Jan rooting on Ryland and the team. And right now Ella's going to send this one all the way across the field. Oh, ah, Sophie sure. saw it too late, yeah. Sure. Oh, she did. She must have missed it, yeah. Yeah, she was going back and then, uh, <laughs> then turned and saw the ball. They yelled at her, and she saw the ball, and then it was too late to get to it. So this is going to roll out. It'd be a United throw. United getting it in. I don't, I'm not seeing this sideline. Like, you're missing – you're right at the football sideline. See, on the monitor, it shows it all. The last time that happened, there was a zoom, there was a zoom setting on the computer that had to be fixed. So that's why, because okay. it's I got a, it, everything's in the middle of this monitor. Okay, let me check. But it's different. That's why I wanted to check. Like it's zoomed in. Gotcha. Yeah. It's, it was formatted wrong before. We had a game where that had happened. We go, oh, Sophie, taking off. And out. She hit the rocket launcher on that one. All right, we're roughly at the 38-minute mark here. Uh, the referees are mic'd up this game. That makes that way more efficient. All right, I got you. You're right. And that is good from 35. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been good from 50, actually. <laughs> so we got first and 10 balls on the 20 we're in the second quarter all right see now does that look like what you're looking at all right i'm looking at ellen mckenna down to the 20 yard line nope okay i'm missing ellen mckenna all right i got you i'll get this fixed give me one second here I'll just make sure the ball's in the middle of the picture. <laughs> and we're getting ready to rock and fold. Oh, nope, sends it in. I can't Ricochet tell you. around. This is over to Ava. Ava picks this up. There's a shot. Go! Oh, go! by Ava. Nice work, girls. All right. Well. All right, Dave, I'm going to go back to midfield. Okay. 
And I'll tell you where we are here. Uh, 25 to 25. So see, on yours, it's 40 to 40 for the most part. Well, no, wait, no, you're, yeah. Well, no. See, look. I got you now. Yeah, I got it. We're good. Okay. All right, very good. On my end, my error there. It is what it is. Okay. Yeah, I had to reload the camera to get it to pick up. And when I did that, it adjusts the screen size. You're right. Okay. We are good. All right, so that was Ava. Getting us up to one nothing. First shot. No saves. That was from out here. Okay. Get my statistics going. That one's just going to roll back. The United Keeper's going to pick it up. Get to see what kind of punt she has. All right. Let me put it in our Facebook deal here. Yeah, I don't know if Javanon has any more games to play or not. Um, but, yeah, it looks like we're going to finish out at um, their one, we're two. Yeah. We went in ranked where we wanted to be, and I think got the got a good enough pick. So since we last broadcast, which was from Indianapolis, um, and we had we had a game on Sunday, and if if you're a follower, you know that we didn't have a game on Sunday. So um, yeah, that team forfeited. Yeah. So we obviously took the win on that and put us, uh, which we had found out. I just didn't read my text message soon enough before we were finished that we won Premier One. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Which is the first time, which a lot of you saw the Facebook post, first time in Kentucky or West Virginia history, um, girls' soccer history, that a team from Kentucky or West Virginia has done that, which yeah. is very impressive. And yeah. congratulations to, to the players and coaches for sure. I'd, I'd be curious to know if there's any teams in Kentucky and West Virginia in Premier One. I mean, it'd be, uh, it'd be us or jabbing on. Well, I mean, I guess maybe in different age groups. but Yeah, different age groups, right. But this is total. That's what I mean. I so mean, maybe as as somewhere else. But, I mean, as far as our age group goes, I'm pretty sure we're the only ones. And there may have been <coughs> in boys, probably. But in girls, hey, man. I don't know. We're it. Yeah. All right. First corner, first set piece of the game here. Coming for Easter Elite. Which puts us in the pro league, which is player recruitment. Yeah. Opportunities and it's um, that's kind of crazy to me because I feel like we're right, we're crazy. we're getting player recruitment anyway. Yeah, there's such a, a high level. Our Here girls have certainly had a lot. Oh, nice. Ooh. Ooh, McKenna missed it, but clobbered I think somebody. She may have headed the defensive player. Yeah, gosh. <laughs> <clears throat> you like it when we get our twin towers up there? Yeah, we definitely have a unique team, man. It's yeah, it's a lot of fun. This crew is such a good crew. They get along really well. Oh, yes, absolutely. Which, you know, anytime with high schoolers, with it, oh, the players decided I'm maybe sure that young lady there. needs a minute. She yeah, got, came in pretty good. McKenna was coming in at full force, and uh, <laughs> she did not slow down. She just focused on the ball. So we're getting ready. We've got a big week this week. Um, at least four of the girls I know are going to the West Virginia State track meet. And then... All right, we're going to take a break here. Oh, yeah. Yes, we are. Hey, Kale, stop the clock. Yes, that will give us a minute to talk about all this stuff. Um, yeah, which is very exciting. That's that's uh, in double A, or, yeah, sorry, in double A. Um, some of them will start some field events on Wednesday. Yeah. Running events are Thursday. I know, as an example, Ella, I know her specifically, runs at um, – 2.30 or 2.20 technically um, on Thursday in the state track meet, which is crazy. And the sh their shuttle team, they had the number one time in the state yeah. in AA. And then I think it was Marion County? Yeah. Somebody like that ended up two-tenths or one-tenth of a second faster at the, their regional. Yeah. Isn't that <laughs> That'll crazy? be fun. That'll be a fun race right there. That'll be fun. I didn't even know anybody would have the ability to That'll be come a good, close to that time. That'll be good. And the boys, which Reese, our son, qualified for, 
Um, we'll see how that works out. But yeah. it um, there's a team within five tenths of a second. Nice, something like that. She has to be half a second. Some nice. It's just down to tenths. So um, yeah, it'll. Um, that's a lot of fun. Of course, I think it's going to rain if you look at the which stinks. Is it really? Uh, it was supposed to rain yesterday and today in Point Pleasant, but it did not. <laughs> yeah, sprinkled a little bit. We were doing prom pictures. And oh, did it? Sprinkled just a bit. I mean, yeah, like one straight cloud said, hey, we're going to give you a little bit of shine for the photos. Oh, they're carrying her off. Well, the she was standing. Okay. They got her stand it up, stood up, and then uh, – And now the coach is like, hey, let's just get her off the field, get her in the shade. No sense in making her stand out on the hot turf. You know, next weekend, next Sunday, this is just a, uh, a friendly, we'll call it. Um, yeah, scrimmage. Yeah, we will be. Um, we going to broadcast that? <laughs> girls are on the field, aren't they? Heck yeah. All right, I like That's it. That's a team out of Morgantown. Um, it's just a, just kind of a ramp-up game. They played Premier One last season, coached by the Fairmont State head coach. Um, we are going to. Are we meeting at Shawnee? Yep, Shawnee. Okay. I don't know the time. I don't know if they know the time yeah, yet. But, yeah, know. that'll be um, it's next Sunday. Yeah. They said it will be after 1 o'clock. That's what we do know. Okay. So, yeah, that should be a fun time. That'll be yeah. – that should be good. So, we'll certainly broadcast that. The girls are playing. We're on the air. Or we'll try to be. Heck, yeah. <laughs> That's e I think we can go down there. we got power right by their little Yeah, right by the scoreboard, and, yeah. Yeah, and all Don't we got to do is – Bring a canopy enough. or something just to yeah. get in the shade or out of the rain. Hopefully the weather will be good. You're right, a good little ramp-up game before they enter into State Cup. Which is the next weekend after that in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Beautiful facilities. Oh, gosh, it's on us already. i got to yeah. make sure i got a hotel or whatever. Probably I can't remember do. what we're supposed to do for that. I'm terrible with it. All right, goal kick coming in. Gosh, this – one of the things that you were alluding to, I don't know if you finished your thought, is um, talking about the uh, – I don't want to say that. The cap – not the caliber of team. But, you know, yeah, well, we were played oh, – yeah. we played two teams that were in the top ten. Top ten in the nation. nation. Yeah. So, so um, with that being said, and you come into the Lauren. KPL game, it's just, you know, it feels like there's not a ton, ton of energy. Yeah. Well, and I say, you know, it's hot. Five of the girls had prom. The rest of them, it's hard to tell what they're doing on Saturdays. You know, they could, uh, if they had track or something else, you just never know. And the KPL standings, the tournament's already set. So um, we yeah. know when we play, who we play. Yep. So now this game's just a matter of how we play. Finishing out the league and just kind of for pride right now. McKenna back to Ella. Ella's going to roll this on across to Mags. Mags going one on one. Pushes by. Gets tripped up, but she's going to play advantage there. Looking for Ava. It's going to get touched out of bounds. So, throw for Mags here. So, just at 32 minutes left in the first half here. Here comes Anna. There's the Be negative there. pass. Ooh. Ah, Ava's already in a little deep Lauren circling back. And the girl gave Lauren a step there, and she's going to let her touch it out of bounds. So, I imagine Soph will come take this throw. You're right. I mean, Rick, we've only had, we've had one foul, one corner, one shot. That's been <laughs> this game in, you know, for the past <laughs> 14 minutes now. Uh, yeah. This is slow pace. United plays this one over. Ava steals it nice away. Nice work, Ava. I need – where's Kevin? I need Kevin to give me the assist on Ava's goal. Ava charging I'm up. I'm not sure there was an assist. I'm not either. I think it pogoed around. Ryland steals this one back from United. Going to drop it back to Mags. Mags over to Ella. Ella's going across field. Sophie sees it this time. Here we go. She's going to play it all the way up to Lauren. Lauren, midfield, turns, looks in a battle, wins <laughs> it out. Yep. Good work. Gets this one up to Ava. Ava making a turn. She's going to lay nice this through. Oh, I thought that was almost had Anna, but it got ricocheted over to Eva. Eva now gets ricocheted back. A lot of green there. Ryland's going to come up and apply some pressure. Lauren will steal this one away off a long touch. Ah, goes back. Ava now battling for it. And this one will get played out wide. Mag steps right in that alley and picks it up. Back on the offensive to Anna. Chipped over to Eva. To Mags. United's going to play this one out of bounds. <coughs> Excuse me. 
just so. a tidbit thing here because we've had Trip Rogers on our broadcast a couple times. Yeah. Um, he is now the assistant coach at Center College. He was the head coach at Finley. And he went to Center. He went to Center, yeah. They announced that uh, this week. By golly. I have no idea why I thought of that, <coughs> but I did. Yeah. Uh, keeping up with our buddy Trip. Well, that's interesting. All right. Anna's going to shoot one from outside the 18. Or no, she's inside the 18. Just inside the 18. Going to be a keeper save. Kevin, what's their mascot at center? I have no idea. Went from being an oiler to whatever the centers are. Huh. Ella plays this one back to McKenna. Under a little bit of pressure, but not much. McKenna to Rylan. Rylan. Gets it over to Soph. Soph is going to pick it up here on this near sideline. Takes it back inside to the center of the field. Catches Lily. Nice. Soph threaded that one through. United picks it back up. Now Ava's going to double back in. Sophie steals it back. Oh, nice. Rylan, yep. Over to Lauren. Now here comes Sophie. Sophie on that overlap. She's rolling. Ah, gets intercepted. Lauren intercepts it back. Gets it over to Lil. Lily. Looking all the way across, going to get Mags on the run. Nice pass, catches yeah, Mags in nice. stride. Mags up to Ava, or Eva, sorry. Eva's going to drop this one back to Lily. United picks it up. All right, now she's on the dead sprint here. Lily's tracking her from behind. Ella's coming over to cover. There we go, girls. Lily just cut her off. Ella gave her nowhere to go, so easy steal. So one move around her player. Gets it up to Lauren. Lauren. Looking, it's going to go one-on-one -on -one here. Nice outside turn. Here comes the speed. Gets touched up by the United player, Lauren. Going to let it go and take the throw. She's going to elite throw. She's going to drop it for Anna. It's coming to take it. Yeah. <coughs> She'll chuck this ball down in the box. Inside going to Ohio University. Inside the attacking third. Here we go. It's got Ava in there. Lily coming up. And I like it. Our centers, center backs, ooh, this one headed out of the box. Ryland coming over, picked up by Lauren. Lauren with a shot, blocked by the keeper. Oh, nice work. It is going to stay in. Nope, it went out. Oh, the yellow line. <laughs> yeah, I was playing they, the football play the line over there. So this will be a corner. <coughs> Lauren will go over and take it. This is our second set piece. Right. Here comes Ellen McKenna. Two center backs coming up. We are not moving quick today. No. <laughs> 27 minutes left here in this first half, and right now the pace is whew, very slow. Not what we're used to. I Lauren with kick up, it. head by McKenna. This one goes out. Since so it's be a Lauren goal has kick. had two really, really nice oh, yeah. uh, lay-ins there. They were, those balls were. Putting them on the back nice. side of the six where the keeper can't really come get them. So it's just up to the defense to mark up their players. Take a second here and see if anybody's chimed in. Judy Oliver saying go girls. I miss Judy. And Tanya Hunt Handling saying go Ella and the lead. Uh, Tanya. All right, ball played in. Going to get a bounce because the United player, Lauren's going to let it roll out and take a throw. So I don't know, Rick, if this is a nice controlled pace. I mean, we're controlling the ball, the momentum. They haven't gotten a shot off yet. But, man, it's crazy that it's this slow. Yeah, it's uh, something we're definitely not used to. Uh, that is true. I'm used to having to follow tons of play at a high rate of speed and lots of fouls. Well, the official got Meg. That's a positive. <laughs> yeah. So oh, ball pogo going around. Lily with a big stop. Great step there. Got it over to Mags. Mags up that side. Going to feed it up for a Eva. Eva stops it at the end line, goes around the player, drops it in for Anna. Anna looks, takes on the player one on one. That field goal. Should be. It did not ricochet off. Yeah, it's going to be a corner. And throw an extra ball out there. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I thought for sure it went off the other player. I did too. Water All break right. it is. Water break. Clock. All right, we'll take a little water break here. Stop the clock for a minute, right? Water break. Yeah, they're lovebirds over there. They know. 
They're just staring He's at each eating. other. That's the problem. He's over eating. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the last time we were here, the restaurant in front of us kept us entertained for a little yeah. while. <laughs> and, <they're, laughs> right. and they have zero business again. <laughs> but they're still there. <laughs> oh, that's funny stuff. The things we find ourselves talking about. I know, right? We are smack dab on the 25-minute mark. And, uh, yeah, one nothing. Yeah. You see, you – Yeah. Games. So, sometimes, you know, every game has its own personality. Yeah. Which we've talked about this before. But this game – this game oh. is – you're used to playing – you know, three and six t rate ranked teams in the country. It's very fast paced. They're in your face. It's oh, scream, yelling, moving, knocking everybody around. Yeah. And this isn't that. No. We haven't played a KPL game in a minute. I mean, I feel like it's been. A I can't even remember last time we played a KPL Nelson, game. I think, and that was a month and a half ago or something crazy. Yeah. Um, I think that was in March actually. I don't even know. It's probably cold and rainy. No, it was sunny, cold. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It was sunny. He said that stadium with, like, the rock wall around it. Yep. Or the block wall, and yep. we went in and went on the far – we went on the far side. Far side, yep. Yeah. It was cold, and it was windy. Of course, it was yeah. windy. It has to be windy. But, um, but yeah, so this game has kind of taken the personality of it's going to be a little bit of a slower game. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit slow. I think Paul's going to go over and ask, hey, can we speed it up a little? Um, but yeah, but that's that's fine because every every game has its own personality and yeah, it's hot as you said. Oh yeah, I don't know what Paul's doing. I don't either. He's maybe pointing he's at like, something. Hey, maybe we should put a net going across here so I don't have to go track balls. I wonder if a ball. Oh, there's a, okay. I'm guessing that young lady that got hit. Uh, so they're bringing an ambulance in. So I'm guessing the young oh lady over on the bench is they're wanting to take her. She must have took a heck of a shot. You know, and you can't be too careful. You got a young lady that's 15, 16 years old. There's no sense in taking a risk if she took a shot to the head. I believe she definitely took a shot. Oh, to gosh, yeah. It looked it. like it in yeah. a way. I, and I think, well, you could go back and look. I mean, um, if I'm not mistaken, she got shoved. I believe the side of her head may have hit the post. I don't know. I don't remember seeing that. I just saw McKenna go up, and I thought, boy, she's going to head this one in. And, uh, you know, and then the player, I, I could, couldn't see through McKenna, but the player went straight to the ground. Like she took a shot and a half. So that one had to be rough. But like I say, the coach is attending to her, you know, and, the, and better safe than sorry in this situation. Absolutely. You don't want to let a player stay out here in 90-degree heat and not know what's going on and if they have a headache or – Anything along those lines, you want to get get some help for them. They're going to bring the ambulance around the track. This is something you absolutely do not want to see. Yeah. Well, it's good that we're at a good facility where they have easy access and they can uh, take care of the stuff in this situation. Yeah, you can tell that um, they jumped right on it, right? So this oh, is yeah. – they've done this before. Um Yeah, well, so coming up next, we got the scrimmage on Sunday at Shawnee, and then the weekend after, man, I really got to figure out hotel rooms. I feel like I feel like you have one. I, I, can, I don't know. Molly sends out all that information. She's a wonderful team manager, but sometimes I just don't catch That's it. That's Eric Baker. Oh, is it? I'm pretty sure. The B-man, Eric Barker. I don't know. You left his – you leave your beard on there, Barker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's hot. But, yeah, definitely slower-paced game, and then we'll see. I, I have no idea. Oh, yeah, Lauren's going to be running in the 4x1, 4x2 relays of AAA on Friday. Very nice. Dennis Walker t chimed in and said that her uh, – her heart beats really high. So they're not going to take a chance. 
And Kevin says maybe Eva with the assist, he's, he thinks she might have dropped it back. Hardy's has a customer. Nice. We need, that needs to be a stat. There we go. One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. Yeah, we certainly hope this young lady's okay. Yeah, it's take a shot like that and you hit your head, and then you're sitting out here in nine degree heat on the turf, yeah, which right, is probably 110. Right. So that so that changes everything. Yeah, so it's going to be tough for the teams to come out and play with that scenario unfolding there. Well, you know yeah, I mean? you combine with the heat, everybody's tired now. <laughs> and the pace was already slow. I feel like we're not even excited, by the way, Daddy. Well, I, it's hard to be. I mean, <laughs> we just came from I Indiana mean, where we played top-ranked teams. and We're kind usually of pretty jacked up, Yeah, man. you're coming <laughs> off the high of winning Premier One, and then now it's like, oh, KPL and one of the – Lower ranked teams. I don't know. What do we What do we do? Yeah. Well, so next season we may not even play. Won't be in KPL. Maybe yeah. not. Well, Just I mean, depends well, on what the um, you know the pro thing that we're going to be rolling into. What the demands are on it. Yeah. So uh, I know you have to play seven games. Um, and it looks like two of them will be in Florida, or not two of them, but two two weeks will be in Florida. Two weeks. Holy cow. Yeah. Um, think of the exposure. Like, when we were there in Florida the first time, like this year. Yeah, yeah, February. February. Think of the exposure that, like, I don't know how you can get much more exposure than. That's what I'm saying. I, or at least what I'm looking at, I'm like, how, how could you possibly get one level higher when, when we were there, there were like, uh, I don't know, 60 coaches at our one game and. Yeah, how do you get? I mean, how, I mean, do, you, how do you get more I, of that? How many more coaches know. can you fit around the field? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't but, know. Maybe um, it's a different level of coaches, but I mean, I know like Michigan State, University yeah, of Michigan, were there. We have big schools, people, right? So I yeah. don't know. It's not like it was. You know, we met Trip there, and it's Division One at Finley, and you know, or Division Two. Okay, but you know, yeah. Still. So here's like you can look at football. Mm -hmm. Basketball, you division one and two. That you know, that means something in in, in soccer. I don't, I don't know how much that much. means. Nah, it doesn't mean as there's much. There's a there's an amazing demand on. Well, that's two in the last two minutes. Two, all right. Three people well, keeping score at home. That's you know, two. And we were talking about this a couple weeks ago. It doesn't matter how it comes down and where you play because they just made a big deal out of this young lady that came out of NAIA and uh, was a highly ranked player that went pro. And they're like, so, you know. The women's game is just different. Blowing up, yeah. Unfortunately, in the in the boys' and the men's game, there aren't nearly as many schools, colleges who have, which is kind of amazing to me, yeah. but have the men's game as compared to the women's game. There's not just not as – there's so many international players in yeah. this game. It's just international heavy. So there's just – but I really think the reason is because there's there not as many schools doing it. Yep. I mean, by any stretch, which I know we've mentioned before, but um, we have some downtime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we still got a few minutes here. They're attending to the player, and again – I see somebody had a stethoscope out there, so checking heartbeat and all that good jazz. You hate to see that at any level, but I'm really happy they took this precaution. Yes, completely. You do not want to say, well, let's just see what happens. It's too hot out here for that. And, uh, you know, you take a shot like that from McKenna or Ella. You <laughs> our girls How many times? Packed, packed in the shade over there. Have you? <laughs> they look like they're taking a school picture. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. How many times have you seen or heard about, not seen, but heard about, I mean, there's one at Hurricane High School. I mean, just young people who end up having some form of a heart condition playing a sport. Oh, we well, you guys had a Rome County, it. yeah. You experienced Alex it Miller, uh, right there. Yeah, he uh, he had heart issues and went down on the and field. Nobody knew. And, yeah, well. You don't know. I, yeah. mean, I don't know if his situation. No, knew. nobody had any idea. Because he'd always checked out healthy and all his uh, physicals and stuff. This day and age, just you just don't know. Just let's just take every let's err on the side of caution. You betcha. Right? Yeah. So completely. So 
so a fire department truck came, I guess, and now they're pulling an ambulance in. So I, I misspoke when I said ambulance because now I see it's Prestonsburg oh. Fire Department. So they, they probably had an EMT that could get here quick, and so he came, and now they're going to pull an ambulance in and go ahead and take her to the hospital, I think. So good good work here by the Prestonsburg crew. They've uh, yeah, absolutely. the emergency services because the fire truck got here quick. And I'm assuming the fire truck called. Let's just assume that's the yeah. protocol, right? Yeah, so they said, hey, it's serious. Get here. Or not serious. It's more than we can handle. She needs to go. Yeah. Whatever the case may be. So our thoughts and prayers are certain with this young lady. Um, this is a first. Yeah. That it's something like this is, you know, you see injuries in sports all the time. Knees, ankles, legs, arms. Shoot at Point Pleasant High School last season. Well, that's not true. That'd have been that was freshman year, I guess. Um, the young lady uh, had fallen in her elbow, which I'd never seen before. I rem yeah, yeah. Her elbow came out of place. Yeah. And um, if that's how you phrase that, but dislocated uh, her elbow. Just there's the word, <laughs> dislocated. Yeah. And which I had mentioned to her dad at the regional track meet. I'm like, you know, I'd never which I had forgotten about that you know, two years ago or so. And, and uh, he's like, listen, it happens all the time. Oh my God. Now his son's a big-time wrestler. Yeah. So I could see how it could happen in wrestling all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah wrestlers completely. crank on each other's limbs. Yeah. All right, a little bit of a game delay here. I, I feel bad for the players. I mean, of course, I feel bad for the injured player, but um, the players got to just hunker up in the shade and try to get through this. Yeah, they're bringing the cart out here. Um, one of the things you always watch in situations is how quickly yeah. like the folks move. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just to see the sense of urgency, I guess. And Yeah. And they're uh, – Are you saying that's quickly or not quickly? What I've seen in the past, that is – no, not – yeah, they don't seem Not like – yeah, I agree. I wasn't seem, sure. I thought maybe you They don't seem nervous. Let me put it that way. Yeah, you're pretty uh, good at spotting. Like, I like how you watch the warm-ups and can spot, you know. Yeah, well, I blew that one time. One out of 50. <laughs> I mean, come we on. You get 50 right, and then you get one wrong. <laughs> we were in Florida. I'm like, I don't I know, I think fellas. we'll give you a pass. This team looks pretty tough. Yeah, we beat them nine to nothing. They yeah. were big and tall, though, so I kind of – I'll give you that. <laughs> a little trick. I wasn't even, wasn't even close. But, yeah, I kind of agree with you. The EMTs here and ambulance crew are not – super fast, so I'm assuming it's just all precaution. So we'll hope that that is correct. As we sit here and watch the uh, restaurant across the street get zero business now that the two have come through. Yeah, if you're keeping score at home, two. two. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so, oh, you know, this is a good time to talk about something. We skirted this issue a little bit, but it's time to bring it up, Rick. Happy birthday, my man. Oh, yeah, well. You're yeah. turning 50. I know it's not your birthday yet, but we had yeah. a fantastic surprise birthday party. Your family did an awesome job, and uh, it caused a little conflict between Katie and I. Cause, uh, and here's why. Yeah. Here's why it caused a yeah. conflict, and kudos to my yeah. beautiful, amazing wife. So Happy birthday her to Kim. Bir her birthday was <laughs> actually Friday, <laughs> yeah. the 13th. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> so, you know, we were planning, they which got, now I look back they at They got this, tricky. Yeah, you missed it. But, yes, yeah, so, oh, wait, wait. Three, baby. Three. Give me a bacon uh -oh. Anyway, so, <laughs> um, so yeah. So, you know, her dad calls and said, hey, I, and so we're, you, you're just buying pizza, right? And I said, well, you know, because we're all getting family. We're getting yeah, it for yeah. Kim's birthday. I'm like, well, no, you guys just order, and we'll just pay for it or whatever. So, and then, <laughs> and then he calls me, and he's like, well, why don't, uh, since you're just buying pizza, okay, he said, why don't we just, I got the riverfront down there. I got the shelter at the riverfront yeah. in Point Pleasant. I said, well, I definitely like that idea better. And, uh, okay. And then, that's weird. But anyway, okay. I was like, well, I didn't know anything about that. There's a reason why I didn't know anything about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, in the long story short, let's fast forward. I'm getting ready to leave. I went down. I couldn't get the pizza ordered online. I had to go down there and order it. And, um. So, 
she's like, hey, I call Kim. Like, hey, I'm just going to go in the back way. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go in the back way, you know, behind the flood wall and point. Oh, about yeah. to window I'm going to go in the back way, so I have to carry the pizza in that cooler. And she's like, hey, stop by coffee grinder. coffee grinder and let's pick up the ice. So I pull in. There's Hondo Hanley sitting out front. Yeah. He does have a bucket, looks like, for ice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really, it's a dishwashing. It's a busing thing. <laughs> yeah, a busing tray. <laughs> yeah. They were moving fast because they just thought you were coming around that way. So, they were oh, like, we got to get you in there. So, anyway. Surprise. Yeah. So, it worked out really well. And I walk in, and there's Dave and some friends of mine, which was very special. It was very nice. Yeah. And so, she, I don't say she sacrificed her birthday, but we had them together. I mean, we both blew out candles yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah. And um, you, our, you definitely got the big end of that with the surprise party. Yeah. Yeah, and we talked about that after, and I'm like, you know, babe, I said, I, I, I guess 50 is it's a one of those birthdays that yeah. you make a big deal of, Heck right? Heck yeah, man. And, uh, and, you know, thank you. I mean, hey, that, she's that was not Kim. 50. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she, uh, she's, she's quite a bit younger, so. Yeah. <laughs> she sent me a little, uh, like a flyer thing through text, and it just said, hey, surprise birthday party for Rick. Don't tell him. And uh, and it's gonna be on Friday, and Katie, of course, I was talking to Katie. Like, hey, we got we got to go to you know Rick's birthday. And she's like, no, it's Kim's. I was like, mm, Katie, it's it's Rick's. It's a birthday, and she insisted that it was Kim's birthday. And I said, I know it's Kim's birthday. I understand that, but it's Rick's birthday too. We're going for Rick's party. It's a surprise. Let's just go. She's like, okay, but you need to know it's Kim's birthday. <laughs> I was like, I understand. She's like, I texted her this morning, told her happy birthday, and she said thank you. So it's definitely her birthday. <laughs> it absolutely like, was you. her birthday. I was like, I got you. I got you. So anyway, the whole way there we debated sure. what the real deal was because I didn't look back at my phone while we were driving. And then uh, and then when we I switched cars and jumped in with Kale, I was like, this is for Rick, right? He goes, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody's birthday. We're going to go eat cake. <laughs> That's all right, I Right, yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. Had, he had less of a care of whose birthday. He just wanted to get some. A birthday. strawberry pie. Yeah, birthday. Very stuff. good. Yeah, everything was great. What do you call those boards? Charcuterie board, Char- which some, or oh. something like that. Let me tell you what was wrong here. So okay, good. so, so good. At, at at something that at a family thing that we were. I think this person's going in there too. Mm, no, they're not. No. Nope. Anyway, um, at a family thing that we were that we were there celebrating uh, something that somebody said, "Hey, you got to try the charcuterie board." Well, I didn't. I, just call it a meat and cheese tray. It's just easier. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so, but I thought they were actually talking about the the board all the food is placed on. Does that make sense? It's yeah, yeah. A board. Well, like a, a cutting board. board. I'm yeah. like, that thing's just plastic. Who cares? And I could not understand. Still didn't understand. Yeah. Like, what? Why are you making a big deal of that thing? It's just a piece of cardboard. Yeah. I was over bending on it, and I'm like, what? The, whatever. Hey. So anyway, I found out later it was actually. It's like a smorgasbord or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I'm I with you. Know. I didn't know what it was. I was like. Because <laughs> I heard you guys talking about that, and I was like, it, it's not West a board. Virginia, it looks dude. like a, some it's sort a, of platter plate. It's a meat and cheese tray. Yeah. There's some olives in the middle of that sucker, and let's eat. So my Aunt Tanya down in uh, Venice Beach, Florida, says happy birthday, Rick and Kim. Hey, thank you so much. So my Aunt Tanya and Uncle Peter, they're watching down there. So they'll get to see us again next year if we go to Florida. Twice. Are we going to the same place? Uh, No. The, the one in December is at Disney, ESPN thing. Either that or we go to Arizona. Let's assume Disney's closer. <laughs> yeah. But it'll be Disney. Probably less, ex- probably less expensive to go to Arizona. So Tampa, is that what you're saying? Uh, December 22nd is at Disney. The one in February is, I'm assuming, back where we, where we were. Hold on, we weren't at Disney? No, we were in Tampa. Aren't they, they're close though, right? Yeah, they're an hour apart. Oh, it's an hour. Okay. Yeah, but we're actually playing at ESPN Wide World of whatever. <clears throat> okay. Well, we'll be close then. That'll be nice. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's Last Florida trip was fantastic. Oh, wasn't that great? I just... Oh, hold on. So, so I'm saying... Now, let me rephrase it. The la- Two parts of the Florida trip was fantastic last time. I mean, I was really worried. We were talking about it on the way down there. You and I and Kel drove down, and, I, and the whole time I was... Trepidatious. I was like, Rick, man, we're driving all the way to Florida. What if we get our clocks cleaned? And it's kind of how we went into that, by the way. That's how I was feeling. (laughs) I didn't want to say it out loud because I was like, man, this is a big deal. You know, we're driving forever. We're going to play New York. We're going to play Minnesota. We're going to play Kansas City. 
you know, those teams aren't going to dr- come all that way to be, you know, crappy teams. That's right. And uh, and I was I was nervous about it. I was like, man, this is just you know a lot of time, effort, money all thrown into this, and whew. then we come out three and zero. That's fantastic. At all the, our girls got so much collegiate exposure. Yeah. Um, that week. It, well, and that's the. It's just a. I don't know. It's just a big deal. Just a big deal. Especially that first game. I think we won three two. Look how okay. So then let's fast forward. Was that Minnesota? So we won that. Right, and then let's fast forward to the blue chip. Yeah, won that. Yeah, right. And there were, were there sixty some coaches at our uh, first game there. Now we were also team. playing two top yes. six teams in the country. Yeah, guess what? Beat them. Beat them. And um, yeah, you do all that, and we don't win KPL. What? Great Lakes, you know, went and cleaned up Premier on the Great one, Lakes. Yeah, what a big deal! What a great. These kids have – now, we've been hanging around here for I don't know how many years, but these girls have put in so much work, so much effort, the coaches, the parents. Let me uh, interject for are. just one second. Yeah. So the ambulance has not left yet, so I'm guessing she's okay and it's precautionary because they got her loaded up, but then they really slowed down the pace about like this game. It went really slow, so uh, they didn't zoom her out of here at speed, you know, as if it was an emergency. So just in case anybody's wondering, um, they're not in a hurry to leave. Does that make sense? Am I reading that right? Yes. Because I'm assuming right. if there was an emergency, they'd have loaded her up and that well, bus would have been you rolling, hope. right? Well, you think. but I mean, the two guys are standing at the back of it. Don't seem very nervous about anything. <laughs> One guy looks like a road construction worker. I'm just going to lean oh on gosh, this here. Dave. Well, I just mean he's very relaxed. He's like, I'm just going to leave. I here know what you mean. See what's going on? I'm sure he's watching, see if he might come see his restaurant too. That's why you're at my There's been two know. since we've been here. Oh, there comes another ambulance by. All right. Yeah. Uh, man. Yeah, it's unfortunate though in this situation, but um, I kind of assume they're getting ready to go again. Coach Sky's talking to the players. Coach Paul's talking to the refs. Is that Maggie that ran over? Yeah, Maggie ran over for something, and then uh, now the coaches are coming to midfield. I wonder if they – do you think they'd call the game? No. Uh-uh. I don't know what's going on. Meeting at midfield. Hmm. All right. Dennis, I, don't, oh, okay. I don't know Dennis, where. Uh, no, Dennis Walker just sent it up and said they're going to check with the coach, see if they want to continue. If so, they'll have a brief warm-up. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, if you see one of your players go down, I'm sure that's a little stressful for the team. Yeah. It's Maybe. only one nothing, though. I'm hoping yeah. that, you know, I'm hoping she's okay. Yeah. Um, well, they're not z- – I'll go back to that ambulance has not moved, so they're not zooming out of here. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Kim Hunt says Disney's always a great option. We are Disney folk. Are we driving it again? <laughs> Dave, listen. Hey, last time we saw three trucks and vehicles on fire. Now heard. listen, that one was a that one was yeah. a flipping inferno, man. We had we heard it gunshots. Scorched the paint when we went by that car right there. He looks like he's absolutely going in there because he looks like he should. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? <laughs> you are 100% right. Correct. But bam Big four-wheel drive truck. Got to get him some fast food. Let's go. Yeah, let's do there it. There we go. Four. Or three. That's three. That's three. Anyway, so, yeah, we saw three vehicles on fire. Heard some gunshots on the way home that <laughs> yeah, night. Jeez. Dude, I, no, that you know, we crazy. shoot guns. Where were know, we? we? A, I don't even know where we were. We have were. a pistol range out back of our house, right, we built, and then we yeah, shoot guns this, a lot. This was that was downtown. Yeah, that was definitely pistol, okay? That was definitely gunshots. Where were we at? I forget where we I even died. were. Carolina somewhere? Were we in Charlotte? We were in Charlotte. Charlotte, yeah. So we, we get out. That's of, what happened. We get out of the car, <laughs> and, we're, and this is like midnight, 1 o'clock. You Wait. and I, Kale. The officials are heading back across. I'm guessing we're finished. But, uh, yeah, we get out of the car, and we're getting ready to go to the hotel. And, like, walking 30 yards to the hotel, and all of a sudden we hear pop, 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 pop. We're like, "Uh (laughs) uh-oh. Dave and I kept walking. Kel hit the ground screaming, (laughs) get down, get down. I'm just kidding. (laughs) 
<laughs> he has no idea what we're talking about, yeah. but anyway. <laughs> he heard his name, so he looked over and smiled. I'm assuming that uh, uh, just body language, they're packing up their stuff. Are they really? Well, I mean, maybe way. he's going to sit down in the shade just to wait. Oh, yeah, Because they'll, they'll get a warm-up. He went over and got his chair. <laughs> yeah, we're going to play. Yeah, he got his chair. They left their bags there at midfield. We're going to play. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Man, it's been a heck of a delay. That's got to be hard on the girls. That's an extra 20 oh, or so yeah, minutes, no 30 doubt. minutes of heat. We're going to go silent here until the game kicks back off. Okay. We'll be right back. Stacy Smith says, Tampa was bad. They saw domestic violence and target and road rage. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, it wasn't just us. Okay, big world out there. We'll be right back. Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Eastern League girls up one nothing over Kentucky United and a little bit of an injury timeout. We'll be right back.
All right, we are back. We took a little sound break there, and uh, they got the young lady in the ambulance, and then she's headed off just as a precaution. They they gave the team an option to, you know, stop play now yeah. or continue, and they decided to play on, which makes me think which not that serious, yeah. Yeah, that's correct, yes. So that's good for that young lady and her family. Hopefully just everything's precautionary. This whole game has had felt a little weird. It's much – you yeah. know, the pace of play is much slower and uh, than this unfortunate situation. That person's dirty. They went through the drive-thru, but they cut around it, and they're just cutting through. What's that about? They're teasing us. I know. They're, <laughs> they're like, hey, like, yeah. we're just going to do a drive-by. Let them count it. We're not stopping. We're going to count it. So we're back out of here. we got 25 minutes left here in this first half. Eastern lead up one nothing, facing off against Kentucky United. Myself, Rick Hunt here, my two dads, bringing us to you live. Of course, subsidiary Rick Hunt Productions all. Opinions, thoughts, and statements. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with all that. I mean, we got all these years worth of nonsense. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with all that. So <laughs> archive it. It'll go to national archives. <laughs> yeah, these two guys. Oh, that's right. We're we're sitting on a corner kick, I guess. Yeah, oh yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, second corner of the game. We didn't get. All to All right. It. So hopefully, pace of play will pick up, and you know, and 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 uh, I don't know. It'll be a different game here coming out for for both teams. Um, found out some really cool information, though. So, yeah. you all know we have a pretty big family, right? And, um, no, the family isn't growing. We are actually <laughs> Congratulations. going to. Congratulations. Oh, ball sent in. Jeez. Yeah, we're on it. Side net. Yep, side net, yep. So, something cool here. We are going to host a foreign exchange student from Germany. Yeah. Which we're really excited about. This will be our second go at this. First one got interrupted by uh, COVID. COVID, yeah. Yeah. Um, and this one, you know, hopefully will go well. But um, my wife came in and told me that she's watching the broadcast here from Germany, which is super cool. And I'm absolutely flat out going to mess up her name because, uh, you know, the way that it's spelled and the way we pronounce things here in America isn't exactly probably correct. I think it's Tiza, Latiza, something to that effect. We're just going to call you T. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, T. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because we can't uh, pronounce kidding. things. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> and by say we, I mean me. Like, my gosh. I'll I can't spell me. that. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Beckham. <laughs> There's no way. Oh, yeah, yeah. shoot. I anyway. butcher more names than anybody you know. <laughs> She's coming at a good time. She's a soccer player, is yeah. our under, or my understanding, and um, which – uh, you know, if she's still watching, we – Hey, take your time and tell the story slow because the ball rolled all the way to the furthest part away. We are taking <laughs> our time. Yeah, so – oh, you don't mean it that way. Okay, sorry. Um, it, did. it did roll all the way. Oh, it, it went all the way over to the side. The good thing they didn't leave the gate open. It left. Um, yeah, so we, uh, you know, we are engaged in sports. It's what yeah, we yeah. do. It's what you do. So, the whole um, family. Yeah, so our last foreign exchange student did not – um, which it was cut short anyway. You know, she was able to go to Gatlinburg with us, and that was it. So um, this young lady's coming in at a good time because yeah. we're going to be rocking Florida a few times and whatever else we get into. So it's going to be good. Yeah. So the goal kick playing out the back, punched up. I think that was a smart play by the United player because we were uh, pressing forward. So from Ags to Ella. Ella's going to turn here, takes a little space. Gets this one up, ricocheted back. Ella back on the job. Battling this one out, wins it out. Gets it over to Mags on the far side. Mags, nice stop and go. Gets tripped up, but she keeps the ball. Right back to Ellen. Here we go. We're going to change point of attack. Over to McKenna. McKenna looking. Catch Sophie. Now we're back on our near side. Sophie, nice, nice draw work. the defender. Gets it over to Lauren. She's going to keep going. So, ah, just a little bit too far of a lead, but the United player just boots it out of bounds. So everybody got parked there for a half hour or so. I don't even know how long, but, you know, a while. I think it was a minute. So they're going to have to get their uh, <clears throat> legs back under them here. You got Katie in at keeper in her black kit, which she's got to be sweltering. <laughs> she's, she <laughs> likes her black kit, though, and she'll just tough it out. Lauren. Yeah, she's tough. Up though. to Anna. Anna, a little bit of space here. It's going to go one-on-one -on -one with the player. Because out there's the cross. Ah, I got intercepted, but bounced around. They're going to kick out bounds. That's out for a throw in. So you got Katie in at keeper. Ellen McKenna, your center backs. Sophie and Mags, your outside backs. Rylan <coughs> and uh, Ava and Lily, your centers. Lauren and Eva, your forwards. And Anna as your striker. And Anna's going to take this throw since they're in an attacking third here. And here comes the throw. Ava doing work here, gets headed over by United. 
Ava was holding up the two players. And, uh, now Lauren with pressure, ricocheted back. Anna wins this one out just off the bounce there. Nice steal. Now she's pushing her way through, gets the ball back. Nice work. She's going to rock and fire right here. Ooh. She's thought about it, I think. It's going to drop it back to Ava. Ava's going to let it roll to Lil. Lil gets it back up to Ryland. Ryland looking outside for Sophie. Not quite enough smoke on that one. So Sophie's going to run it back. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie just harassing the player until she gets rid of the ball and lets it go out. <laughs> know, Sophie. It's like, I'll just run right by you and pick <laughs> this up. Into Lauren. Lauren's going to punch this one long. Send Anna on the run. Anna fighting hey. through the finish. She's going to pick this one up. Oh, oh, gosh, rolls the girl for effort. They're going to call her for that one. Anna took a shot there, too. I saw yeah. her head snap back like a shoulder may have yeah, yeah. gotten had, her there. Sure. They had contact, but Anna finished the job up. You might get a shove, but you're not getting a free one. So closing in on 20 minutes left here in the first half. I can't believe we're still in the first half. We've been here forever. Ball this rocking it up. Lauren picks up the loose ball, gets it over to Ava. Ava takes some space under pressure. Tried to sneak it through to Eva, didn't quite get there. Lily's going to steal it back. The pace of play has picked up for yeah. sure. Yeah, here in the last two minutes. Oh, nice the turn moving. Lauren. Lauren. Great turn. Going to come up the side, gets punched back out. This one's going to go long. Sophie and, uh, will Sophie's got track it. this thing yeah. down. Her and McKenna are looking at each other to see who's going to track it down. McKenna's like, I got it. McKenna I'll drew the bad get straw. It. <coughs> yeah. All right, so let's see. Hey, we got people just walking through Hardy. Or we never say the name of the restaurant. We yeah. can't do that. That's just walking our, through. They did. They're just walking stuff. around. <laughs> did a lap. Getting our steps in. <laughs> 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 got to burn this off before we, you know, before right. we eat it. Here comes some subs. Right, Emerson coming Callie. in. Callie coming in, and Miley coming in. So Miley's at your right back. Callie's at that center mid, and Emerson's at left forward. All right. So they the. The players who went off will not be permitted back on this yeah. half. Yeah, I love it, though. There's no fall off in our subs. Our bench is deep. M with a nice move. Oh, <coughs> almost threaded <coughs> yeah, the needle. United comes through. Now, Callie steals it back. M back up to Anna. Anna cuts back negative. It's going to slow it down. Gets it back to Lily. Lily's such a great holding mid there. She's <gasps> such a – I call her the hub all the time because our players just get her the ball. And she's gotten so proficient at holding it and then getting it back, usually back to Ella. Uh, and then Ella will turn, which is exactly what just happened. Ella will turn it over to McKenna, and they just they change the point of attack so well. Makes it a, a nice playing feature for our team there. Have such a solid player at that holding mid. <laughs> they tried. <laughs> they tried. Three of the <laughs> Kentucky United girls like, it's our ball for sure. But the AR overruled them. Up, Lauren. It's on that right now, yeah. Hey, so one of the things I didn't do was find out where Kentucky United's from, which oh, was a rookie yeah. move on my part. Here, I'll look it up. Um, I do not know where they play out of. Hey, we have a Moran. Came in for uh, Ava. Ava, yeah. I didn't see that one. Oh, they just did. Okay. That was coming up for a relief valve here. Lexington. Oh, Miley's in there, too. Yeah, Miley's in there. They're out of Lexington. Okay, very good. All right, so, yeah, we we have uh, Katie in at keeper, Ellen McKenna, your center back, Sophie, your left back, Molly at right back, Lily's still at that holding, Callie, and now I'm not sure who dropped in with Callie. Oh, Callie's at the center Lauren. mid. You got Emerson and I'm assuming Riley Moran is your forwards. Anna's still at striker. And so then you got Lauren somewhere. And right now she's over on this left side, so it's hard to tell. But Lauren will turn up. She's probably at that <laughs> center mid. We did some ping pong in there. Yeah, this one's going to go all the way back. Ella's going to shadow up, and then she gets called off. So Kate will wait. We'll roll all the way to her. Katie got to touch the ball. There's a punt. Nice kick up. Hey, I didn't see see her adjust her shin guard. Yeah. What? Two subs got a call here. here. Yep. Foul against United. Hmm. All right. First foul of the game for them. Up to Lily. Lily over to Miley. Miley turns back. Battling now on the sideline for it. Gets it touched out, but not quite strong enough. United picks it up, and they're just going to punch it forward. 
So McKenna will take this one, plays it down. Good skills there over to Ella. Ella's going to look it back over to Miley. Miley right back. Now we'll change the point of attack. Girls are working efficiently This Ford's here. working hard, though. She's oh hustling yeah, she's to the ball. And that's what I mean. Our girls are just runner, which is very efficient on their passing, but hard for that forward. All right. Nice. So plays this Good one job, up. Lauren Soph. on the chase. And Lauren, one of our track athletes, qualified for states. Callie battling for this one, forcing it out and around. Now McKenna. This is going to push the – yeah, Weiler tried to karate kick that one in. Hey, there's a shot. Katie will jump Kate. on this one. All right. Shot from way out, but, hey, a shot is a shot. Okay, Katie with the punt. Just a chin guard and gets another 15 yards on the punt past midfield. Emerson heads this one up. Stays with it, plays it down. Gets hit from behind. Oh. They're going to call that a foul. It's their second foul. Kentucky United has decided they're going to start fouling people. Better watch out. You don't poke the bear. McKenna, nice pass all the way up to Anna. Anna's looking to turn. She weaves out to the side. It's going to get this out to – oh, they're going to call her offside. <sighs> First offside of the game. Yeah. So Moran was offside, came back in to get the ball, which you can't do. After it's played, anyway. What are we eating at, Rick? Oh, <laughs> I am hungry. All right, throw in, headed back. Ella's going to chaperone this one. <laughs> Ella started jogging, and then she's like, well. That ball's going to make it. Then the young lady from Tuck United took off. So yeah. I was like, well, maybe better run a little faster. <laughs> yeah, better safe than sorry on that one. <clears throat> Katie will take a goal kick here. Let's check comments. Thomas Howell says Keegan Fitzgerald says go Anna. Very good. All right, playing short to Ella. Ella. Gets this one up to Lily. Lily's going to lay this one over from Miley. Miley takes a step there. Tries to work inside. Gets held up just a little bit. Pushes her all the way back to midfield. Kentucky United now across the center of the field. Here comes Lauren. Lauren at that center mid position. Oh, Lily nice a great pick. Step, yeah. Moran hustles to it. Got caught up there. That's Riley. Again, just hustling around. Riley's a spitfire. That sounded like that was in here. <laughs> I know. Somebody right in front of us? I guess. That's how I looked over to see if somebody came in the door. We're up here with just the scoreboard crew. They are pressing hard here, Kentucky yeah. United is. Callie up to Lauren. Kentucky United steals it away. Moving. Lauren's going to steal it right back. Nice job. Lauren drives this one up long. It's going to be yeah, heavy to go out. Deep. That's going to be a throw. Somebody's going to have to go chase that one all the way to the back corner. Uh, Underneath the 13-minute mark here. All the way to the fence. <laughs> <laughs> all the way to the fence, Rick. What that, are we doing here? That young lady's like, yeah, I'm not running all the way there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm she, not doing it. She slowed down to a walk. All right, fine. If i got to chase the ball, it's going to be on my time. So, yeah, about 12 minutes here, 13 roughly, working on 12. Left to play in this first half. We're one to nothing. Long injury delay there. And uh, now – the pace sped up for about five minutes, and then it kind of fell off. Ah, they, well, <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe it hadn't fallen off that much. Miley wins this one out, gets it Lily, Lily to Riley. Riley catches Lauren overlapping. Lauren cuts back, catches Get Anna. your feet. Shot. That's going to be a save. Oh. Ricochet. Minute, minute. Emerson and Callie almost got to it. It's going to get pushed back out. Riley shadowing this one back. Miley's going to get to it. Nice touch back to Ella. Ella. Looking, she's going to go ahead and work it back to McKinnon, give themselves a little time. Over to Sophie. Sophie inside. Callie right back to Soph. That was nice work. Yep. Sophie gets it up to M. M, the silent assassin over here. She went negative. Offside. Offside, yeah. On it. That's two now. Hmm. Okay. 
outside their defending third, Kentucky United will get a free kick here for the offside call. I'm getting sleepy, Rick. <laughs> this pace has slowed down. Oh, yeah. And I'm up here warm. It's just not what we're used to. I know. Emerson on the attack. McKenna shadows this one back. That forward's been working pretty hard. She finally gets it's the ball. Make its way out. McKenna's just going to shadow this one out. All right. This is a goal kick for Miss Kate. Still one nothing. Under 11 minutes in this first half. Comes a sub. So Rachel Moran coming in. So now Riley will go to striker. Rachel will go to that right forward. So in case you're wondering, maybe. Let me make sure. See one of them turn around here to verify numbers. Katie with a goal kick drives this one up. Almost to midfield. That was a great goal kick. Lauren plays it down. Callie gets it back to Lily. Lily. Ooh. Ooh. Pogoed back, but McKenna's going to be there for it. Yeah, okay. So Riley is uh, at striker. Rachel has the pink cleats. And Riley does not have pink cleats. And Riley's at that right. Or Rachel's at the right forward. Callie battling for the ball. Kentucky United makes a turn. Ella's going to pick her up. Now McKenna steps through the ball. United picks it up here. Oh, she had an alley but chose not to take it and sent it back to her players. So they're going to get off a shot. But that was, They did a very, very good job right there. It had, it had a clear shot. Yeah, very poor. She had a clear shot. Katie will take the punt. Up past midfield again, played down by United. Callie picks up the loose ball, gets it up to M. M turns. It's going to drop this one back to Sophie. Sophie gives it right back to her. They just move the defender there over to Lauren. Lauren straight up the middle, trying to Ooh. sneak it through to Riley. United picks it off. Now it's a tough to needle to thread from oh, there, but she is. almost did it. McKenna back to Ella. L up to Callie and back to McKinnon. Now back to Callie. And then laid over for, oh, I thought it was Sophie, but a United player got to it. And they're just going to punch it back to Kate. We'll yeah, get a punt out get it. Yep. Kate will get the ball up to midfield. She's hustling with it. <laughs> yeah, hey, I don't know what the <laughs> rush is. <laughs> I don't know, but she hustled on that one. Shin guard adjusted. Big punt. All right. Pass midfield again. Punts are on point today. Lauren rolls this around from Riley. Gets it to Callie. Callie. Make moves towards the outside. It's going to lay this nice. one over for him. And United players just going to boot it out of bounds. Anna may or may not. Is Anna even in there? No, she went out. <laughs> <coughs> then so she probably won't do the throw in. Yeah, I think so. will run up and take this one. But. All right. Eight minutes left here in the first half. Ball into Lily. Lily to Lauren. Lauren looking, trying to sneak it through. She had two players in front of her. United's going to kick it out again. We'll do it again. Wake up, Davey. I know. I'll give you a 10-minute nap at halftime. All right. Okay. I will take it. Oh, geez. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a customer here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be the fourth one today <coughs> in four hours. All right, thrown in. Lauren. Nice turn by Lauren. There's the cross. Catches it. Riley. Riley gets a shot off. Keeper's going to make save. Or as Rachel. Sorry, Rachel got the shot off. Number 19. Shot number See, five. When they play them both in there She's together. 18. 18. Oh, yeah. Did I just make up the whole 19 thing? I don't know. Probably did. It's, I'm, I'm sleepy. It's hard to tell. <laughs> off of Callie back to Sophie. Nice work. Sophie right back up to Callie. Here we go. Moves it back to Soph. Soph going across to Lily. Again, they're just they're pretty effective here moving the defenders. Like Ella's gonna come up, take his space, and gets it to Miley. Miley working through. Punches up out and's gonna go out. It's gonna be elite throw. I'm not sure I know what I'm about to say I'm wrong on. But I don't remember Kentucky United have very many throws. They haven't thrown the ball in much. No, maybe three or four at the most. I mean we're probably on throw twenty. But they're, you know, they're they're staving off our offense by kicking it out of bounds a lot. They're not playing any risk. 
which, you know, hey, that's smart. Knowing what I know about our team, I wouldn't give those opportunities up either. That ball might come up here to us. It is. It's up in the bleachers. She kicked the crap out of that one. All right. Jason Elliott's <laughs> jumping out there. Jason Elliott. He's, Getting a, in the he's mix. a past athlete. He's not afraid. No, he can get it done. He's a wrestler. They can do anything. <laughs> Six minutes in this first half. Holy smokes. Ball Lauren in, checking Lauren. Checking her shoulder. Good work. Yeah. Rolls it over to M. M. Looking. Going to drop it to Soph. Draws the defender. Gets it to Callie. Callie one-on-one. -on -one. Comes back. Gets back to Soph. Soph back to McKenna. McKenna across to Ella. This has become such routine now. The girls have gotten so good at it. They just find each other. They roll it across that back line. No problems. Yeah, they've gotten to the point to where they know where each other's going to be. Yeah, that's correct. Yes. It's just it, They make it look effortless, which is crazy because, you know, Oh, uh -oh. nice through ball by Callie. M on Get the run. There. Nah, offside. Oh, that ain't going it. It's three mm. offsides. That's more offsides than we've had all season. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's craziness. But it is what it is. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Five minutes in this first half. And they're going to come all the way back up. I don't know if the ball must have rolled all the way to the back, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, rolled back to the corner. Yeah. <coughs> I took – I took – you that know, Rick, that's, over a minute. that's your next invention that you work into your business somehow. A portable net you can just roll around the soccer field that keeps balls from rolling. Doesn't have to bl block them if they get blasted, but, you know, just like three foot high, two foot high, whatever. You just string it real quick across the end zone. Now yeah. that was some nice passing. Yeah. Girls working here out of the back. Callie to Ella. Over to Miley. Miley makes her turn up the sideline. It's going to get it to Rachel. Rachel, United's going to pick this one out. Got an employee out tomorrow, Rick. I gotta make some quick texts, so I'll be quiet for two seconds. Gotta love Sunday afternoon. Somebody gets sick, but at least we know now. Mm. We can work on it now instead of tomorrow morning. This is true. Yeah. And all right. I'm sure you have experience with this. Oh so yeah. This should be fine. I, I got a lady <laughs> that Denise who takes care of me, and by golly, she's got there. We Look go, at there that. we go. Callie to M to Look Lauren. Across, across, to Raleigh, across, Raleigh, Raleigh. She's there. Cuts through. Oh. Gets taken down uh. in the box. Yeah, here we go, PK time. That is a heavy foul to give up right here. <coughs> and it's not out there, so I don't know. Lauren will take this one. Yeah, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Keeper getting ready. Lauren placing the ball down. So at three minutes here, Riley Moran doing work gets tripped up in the box. All right, they should take off here on the yeah. kick. Let's see what happens. Referee going to blow the whistle. Here we go. PK attempt. Keeper go. got hands on it, but it's going to be a goal by Lauren. Nice, nice work. work. Yep. All right, first half is still... Lauren with the PK, getting my statistics in here. That was a good job by the keeper to get hands on that. That's really hard to do. And we, my good friend, will go up 2 nothing. Yeah, but not a lot of fanfare on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We normally scream and yell and carry on, but oh, yeah. um, PKs are uh, should be a, a pretty standard deal. It don't always happen that way. But Gosh, I'll tell you what, in Point Pleasant, our, in our girls' high school stuff, every game week had from the section on came down to pink and PKs, isn't man. That crazy? Okay. 
So two minutes left here in this first half, roughly. I, I don't really know where the referee's watch is, but you know, two minutes for us. You think we ought to stop the scoreboard? To the yeah, yeah, about a minute. Okay. Make sure our scoreboard guy over there is on top of that. Yeah. I'll notify him. <laughs> Last time I just beat on the wood over here and he looked. So we got two goals, one by Ava with an assist from Eva, and now Lauren with a PK, courtesy of Riley Moran, who worked her way into the box and got taken down. Hey, she was the big hero in the in, oh in, uh, – wait, where were we? The blue chip. Yeah. We were down 2-0. She comes up with two goals, and, um, yeah. yeah, then we one picked up one. One of them was a header goal off a corner, and the other one she just hammered it. was a big-time deal. Hammered on the goalie until it went. Rachel plays this one back. Now Riley bound for it on the side. It's going to be United's throw. Stop the clock. Or we could just yell. I guess. Yeah, sorry. I saw him looking at you, and I knew he wasn't getting it. Oh, Callie with a body check. United Callie's comes up yet to have a vow. I mean, yeah, I know. That's she's like, ah, nice work, Soph. Yep, Sophie just picks that one away clean and makes a great step, gets it over to Emerson. M plays this one forward. Now, look at there this. There it is. There it is. Just a touch. Just Riley, a touch. the race of the goalie. Uh. Hey, that's a classy move by Riley. She could have jammed the goalie there, and it would have been super close and hard to tell which way it went. But she peeled away and let the keeper uh, stay safe. And then for the referee, you got to protect your keeper, so that probably would have been a foul. <laughs> Lauren, weaving through traffic here, lays this one out wide. Rachel come over and took her place in the center. So we're on short time here. Referee checked his watch, but he doesn't seem to be in a hurry, so I'm assuming we've still got a couple minutes. <laughs> I'm showing time here in about 10 seconds, so we shall see. Ball thrown in by Miley over to Riley. Gets punched back out again. I got to say that everybody on the field is walking at a really slow pace. <laughs> They are. This is by far the hottest game we have played yeah. from a temperature standpoint uh, all season. Yeah. And, then, you know, with that long delay, which, you know, oh, number five. That long delay, um, you know, everybody just kind of – their heart rates came back down. They settled down. It's so hard to get back up. You know, 10-minute halftime, you can kind of do that. All right, there we go, half. Half it is. Whew. Not a lot of stats. No, That's for sure. Um, Lauren with a goal. And, um, well, Lauren with two goals, right? No. Who uh, had the first goal? Ava. Oh, Ava, sorry. Ava had the first goal. Help right here at half. Um, it's Elite 2, United 0. Elite shots on goal. We had six. We had two fouls. I feel like we had more than two corners. But we'll go with two corners, three offside, yeah, which all happened here in the last. I think we had three I corners. Didn't write down the last one. Yeah, that's okay. We won't bet against you. And Miss Kate had two saves. We had goals by Ava and uh, Lauren. Lawrence was on a PK with a foul um, to Riley there in the box. And um, it was Eva that yeah. fed the ball in. According to uh, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. And Kevin knows. All right, United had two shots on goal. They have had three saves, three fouls, no corners, and no offsides. So the countdown has started. We're at nine minutes for half, and um, I assume they'll take the full ten. Yeah. Uh, more than likely. With the I'd girls say rehydrate. The, yeah, for the heat. Neither team mm -hmm. has a very deep bench, so no. let them let go over true. and get some water and some shade. That is true. All right, everyone. Well. We kind of ran out of things to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> we had to burn up a half hour or something. Yeah, else. right. So let's take a five-minute break, right. and we'll be right back. Die.
Welcome to the second half. We're out here with a 2-0 lead for your Eastern Lead 05 girls as they face off against Kentucky United. And, Rick, you've looked up some standings for us. I did. I did. I did. I did. It took way longer than it should have, but I did. Yeah, so our KPL, you know, our league here that we play in is Kentucky Premier League. Of course, everything, a lot of things are done in, in soccer. It's points, point yeah. related. Oh, yeah. Right now. Javanon is setting with 14 points. We have 13, and then Nelson 11, right? So we have one loss in KPL. We have one tie. Uh, Javanon has um, two ties and no losses here. I mean, we're going we're gonna to hit the button early here. We're going to attack early. Yes, yeah, so the standings are as follows. Javanon, one, Eastern Elite, Nelson, Kings Hammer, Bluegrass, Kings Hammer, South. Mockingbird, Kentucky United, and GFC. I don't know, actually, I don't think, did we play GFC? I don't remember that name. Uh, GFC. I don't recall that, but uh, we very well may have. <laughs> yeah, that's like Georgetown Football Club or something like that. Oh, Georgetown, yeah, 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 yeah sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we did. Um, okay. So, yeah, that's where Phil we sit right in. now. Back out of bounds. Kentucky United will... Get the kick in. That poor young lady's carrying a Kleenex with her. She must have sinus issues. Allergies, allergies are rough. Yeah, allergies, man. They, they, everything's blowing up right now. And I know uh, people are sneezing all over the place at prom yesterday trying not to. Nice ball driven up by Kentucky United. McKenna gets to it first, though. That was a nice touch. Yeah, great touch. Didn't let the ball get away from her at all. Gets it up to Callie. Callie works it out to the outside. Gets it over to M. M got held up, gets tripped up a little bit. United picks the ball back up. M right back at it, though. Wins it back. It's going to drop it back to McKenna. So, Rick, we got a different look going on. So, we have Katie in at keeper. And McKenna and L, of course, your center backs. And we've got Miley and Mags. I almost feel like they're running three center backs. And then M and Miley are your outside backs. So I think we're in a 1-4, 1-4-5-2 maybe because they're our – no, 1-3, sorry, 1-3. So Miley and McKenna, your outside backs. Ella at that lone center back. And then you have Rylan at the holding mid with uh, M and Mag as your outside wings, I guess. And then Ava Callie. As your centers. And then Riley Moran and Anna as your forwards. Ball up to Riley. She looks, takes a step. It's going to catch Anna. Anna waits. Has a player on her back. She works her way through. She's got three players all around her there. Jeez. <laughs> Riley punches it forward. She's got Ava. Oh, okay, we got Ava up there too. So they're running three up front, I think. Or Ava's a center. I'm not sure which. United just puts this one out of bounds. Hags is taking the throw. Okay. There we go. Had to finish sending some work texts. Stuff sorted out. All right, second half action here. <coughs> My two dad sports bringing us to you live from Prestonsburg, Kentucky, and Prestonsburg High School. Outstanding facility where we play a lot of our home games. Great turf. So Ava plays this one down. It's going to get it back to Molly. And your Eastern Lead 05 girls up 2 nothing right now. Back to McKenna. Up to Riley. Or Rylan, sorry. Looking for him on that far side. United player cut it off. It's going to punch it out. Did you already go through our lineup? Yeah. Yeah, we have a different formation. That's why I was struggling with it. That's, uh, I think Ella's the lone center back in this deal. Anna pushes this one forward. The keeper's going to run up and grab it. And then they got, she's got McKenna and Miley as their outside backs. And Rylan's in at that holding mid. And then uh, Maggie and Emerson as wings. Maggie peels that one out of the air. Gets a nice pass over to McKenna. McKenna threads it right back up to Callie. Gets sent right back to McKenna. 
Now she's going to drop this one all the way back to Katie, get a little space. Kate turns. She's going to get it to Ella. Out to Molly. Molly's got Mags here on the side. Mags turns, got a little bit of space, no real pressure on her. Now the player makes a step. It's going to play it out of bounds. Mags will pick it up. Ball thrown in. United player jumps all over that one. Yes, Riley gets did. a toe on it, but United's going to come away with it. The ball played back over Miley. Going to take it away. Good work, Miley. Yeah, just circled right around for that one. Ava picks it up. Ava over to Callie. Callie, a little bit of space. Going to thread this one through. Fran on the chase. Anna's Boy, got this. Yeah, this is there. The keeper's coming up. Oh, oh ricocheted around. And the play, United player's going to kick it she out. I couldn't out. tell which I way that went. That's going to be a corner. Yeah, I think so. All right, corner number four. I'm writing this one down. Our girls are not coming up this time. Hmm. Oh, it's a throw. It's not a corner. Oh, is it not? No. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I thought it was. This AR on this side has got to work on his flag skills. Now it's a corner. Thrown in, and the United center back just kicks it out the back. Looks like Ava's is going to go take this one. So welcome back to second half action here. Your Eastern League girls up 2 nothing over Kentucky United. Myself and Rick here. My two dads, sports, subsidiary, Rick Hunt Productions, all opinions, statements, and facts. Property, Rick Hunt. If you have any complaints, email Rick Hunt. Make me an offer, and they're yours. At rick at hunt.com. Yep, that didn't work out very well. In, blocked back out by United. Spade, Mags though. is there for it. Just going to send it back to Ava. Ava. Right back to her, just moving the defender now. Mag's going to send this one in. Looking for Riley, but it's got a little bend on it. It's going to go out the back. Dennis Walker showing his foot skills. This game has about as much action as the fast food restaurant across the street. Dude, buddy. it's <laughs> rough, isn't it? <laughs> like, nah. Do we have to play another 38 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> our 38 long our minutes team left. doesn't act like we want to. <laughs> Neither team really fares. Riley blocks this one out of the air. United picks it up now in with pressure. Oops. I got caught watching the game instead of moving the camera. United playing this one forward. They got a little bit of a run. Rylan's running her down from behind. Ella steps up and takes pressure. Now McKenna pushing it outside. Good work, girls. Driving back. Yeah, it's the wall had set up and it was apparently at the twenty. All the way back Here comes the Riley. Jeez, Riley's going to knock the girl down and take the ball, but yeah. Foul. The officials aren't exactly like – That's what I mean. They're just going through the motions all the <laughs> That's what when I said everybody on the, field just, on the field just seems sluggish and tired, the officials aren't even, you know. But, I mean, they don't have to because the game's not moving that fast, but they are taking their time. You can see them. They're just like, oh, come on, clock, run in their body language. All right, United kicks this one in. Callie blocks it out of the air. Plays it over to the side. She's going to pop it up looking for M. M. Gets the bounce, plays the ball down. Now she's going to pop it up and over the defenders. This one's going to roll out of bounds. Coach Sky using her basketball skills there, catching that one out of the air. United player tips it up. Riley and Callie combine here. Riley plays it back to McKenna. McKenna up to M. M trying to battle off that sideline. It's going to go out be a elite throw. Have we talked about food yet? Where are we at on that? Yeah, Dad's supposed to go over there and get us some. Oh, gosh. You're not doing it, though. You know, I got to say, though, in this small town, that if nobody's, like, hitting that place hard, then. Here we go. Make something happen Hannah here. Pushing she has her space. way through in the box. Draws a keeper. Blocked. <sighs> oh, my gosh. That go ball. Goal by Anna. Through the keeper and a defender. Okay. I think that ball ricocheted off of the keeper, back yep. onto Anna, and yep. then in. Yeah, it did. And the defender tried to get in between her and the ball and didn't quite get there. Nice work by Anna just pushing through. Look, we got to start. we got to stop. doesn't matter. The fish will keep it on the field, but keep yeah. the clock moving, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's three. Kevin Young watching McKinnon and the rest of the crew. He's in Flatwoods, Kentucky. Very good. All right, up three nothing. Let's add one on there. You know, I'm I'm really surprised, and you know, and that's it's great, but I really thought 
Um, really thought that uh, we would have the score up higher in this by now. But the pace is just so slow <coughs> compared to what we're used to. Mag's going to press the issue here. Nice passing by United, but they lose the ball. Ava steps, steps right in, takes it, gets it back to Miley. <coughs> Sorry. Miley to Ella. Ella passes it back to Kate. That's so nice, Ella. She's like, hey, Katie, here, get a touch. <laughs> Up. United steals it away at midfield. They get it back. They push through. Now, Ella. Now, McKenna overlapping back in with pressure and gets a step. This one will go out. United throw. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know uh, that I trust a fast food place that's not busy. That's solid. All right, United with the throw here. Katie's getting her defense set up. Ella McKenna got everybody marked up. And throw in short. Callie with pressure forces it up to Riley. Riley battling back in. Callie and Riley here battling with their players, trying to get a turn, and Riley got swung around and going to be United throw. M's not now. Okay, he changed mind. Elite throw. M gonna take a throw. To Ryland back out the M. Now it's gonna go out. So just switching places here. Now United gonna get the throw. So United getting a little bit of time down here on offense. Man, you know how hot it's going to be here in a couple of weeks in Elizabeth Town. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's yeah. a couple of degrees warmer anyway, just because you're heading that direction. And it will. Uh, M headed this one out of the air, got it up to Riley. Riley battling for it. United picks it back up. They're going to just dump it in here. Kate will run up and grab this one. Thirty-four minute mark. There's the punt, shin guard assist, and wow, 56 yards over the 50. Nice punt. Popped up. Ella's going to run up and head this one up. Heads it again. And oh yeah, they're going to yeah, call her call on that. that one. She had her hands up in that oh girl's yeah. face. <laughs> yeah. Ella wasn't going to let her get the ball one way or another. She was forcing the issue there. So free kick out the 25-yard line. So about 12 yards past the box. Driven in, blocked by Ella. Back over, Rylan picks it up, gets it up to Ava. Ava, ooh, player steps in, just boots one long. Kate needs to go for a jog. Oh, gosh. She's trying to hustle and get to it before he goes all the way back, but she's not going to make it. It hit the fence. 33 minutes left here in this second half. Um, time is creeping. Boy, it is, isn't it? I mean, parents aren't saying anything. No, it's a quiet game. Nobody's saying anything. Katie going to take the goal kick. Drives the ball up. Nice goal kick up. Riley plays it back. Callie gets a foot on it. Good work. Anna gets it. Makes a turn. Midfield. Pushes this one through for Riley. Riley's got some space. He's got Ava going. Gets it over to Ava. Nice ball. Ava Lefty. picks it up. Makes a nice turn That's shot. Blocked. Oh, good work wow. by their keeper. Kick out. Here comes Anna. Sends it through. Goal oh. by Anna off the ricochet. That ricocheted off someone, yeah. Yeah. Boy, oh, boy. All right, four shots in this half, and the keeper's had three saves. But it's that second one. That was a great one. save, yeah. yeah. second one she couldn't Actually, both up. of her her saves were good. On the ricochets, you yeah. know, the, the one where Anna scored there the first time. Yeah, and as a keeper, you can't do anything about that. It ricochets off of you, and if it doesn't come right back to you, you're just at the mercy of where the bounce goes. So, 4 nothing, your girls. This is more what I expected in the first half. Get up four five nothing, but you know, hey, slow game. 
Building points, Rick. Building points. Doesn't matter now because the seating's already done, but building points. Yeah, Although, actually, I mean, it would be nice to be KPL champs. I don't know what that comes with. You get a trophy or something? My guess is probably not. Yeah. But it's kind of crazy not to win KPL and go win Premier 1. How's that happen? So, Javanon has scored 26 goals. Yeah. And up through this game, we have scored 18. So we really got to get on the horse here if we're going to. Ball up high here. Ellis tracking this one down. <laughs> Heads the ball, gives a little shove. Ava picks it up, gets it over to Molly. Uh, a little heavy there for Mags. So second half action here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Man, what a beautiful day. Oh, number six. Good job, Coach. Somebody's trying to sneak in on us, Rick. Got a sub here. Yep. Kentucky United. Karen Gauze saying good job to the ladies. And again, we got <laughs> caught the second half of the boys game. The 03 boys played. They won 4-1. to one. They're doing having a really good season under Coach Brad and Coach Scott. Mags had this one out of the air. Played up by Kentucky United. Callie steals it back, gets to Riley. Great touch by Callie there. And she's going to run right on through this one. And Riley running through it. Now Callie right back at it. And United gets to it. They're going to take it on that far side. But M blocks her down. Keeps the ball inbounds. Nice work, Sam. Yeah. Good work. M just bulldogging her way through. Lays this one out for Riley. Going to send her on the chase. Riley going to force the player with some good hustle there. Force her to play it out of bounds. All right. <sighs> yeah. Throw in by him. Anna pops this one back, gets it over into the box. Riley picks it up. Back Bam. to Anna. Through one player, shot, go, Anna, via Riley. Not sure how. That's a hat that trick for Anna. Squirted in there. Yeah. Look, watch, look at the defense walking oh, back, nice heads down. Yeah, like, oh, that's, man. Well, the heat's <laughs> catching up with them, I'm sure, you know, and, <laughs> and having her player go off, that's kind of tough. So, got a lot of stuff stacked against them. Yeah, I was talking about our girls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they were just walking back, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the learning curve you go through, man. Oh, I mean, yeah. You know, we talk about that in other games that we've played, and we used to take our beat downs, man. Yep. There's no doubt about it. That's the way you get better, oh, though. Oh, my gosh. I remember a season we only scored six goals, goals total, and that was playing both fall and spring. Yeah, think of that. And, you know. Defense under so much pressure. We played like uh, <sighs> Lexington, whatever they used to be called. I think they disbanded now, but they beat us like six or eight to nothing, and we were just so disenchanted with how – how we're going to do and now look at us. One of the best teams yeah, in the you nation. You have to trust the, trust the climb, right? Oh, and yeah. Coach and Sky uh, and Coach Paul put in massive work for this group. No question. All right, back to McKenna. McKenna up to Emerson on that left side. She's going to take her time here. Makes a move, gets the ball over to Cal. Cal checks her shoulder, makes a turn. So 20, not under 30 minutes left here. Is that clock even running? It's got, yeah, gosh, okay. Seems like we were just talking at 33. Seems like way more than four minutes just went by. Well, every time we score, that's a minute that the clock doesn't yeah, move. Yeah, that's true. All right. Now, call. they may have a running clock. You know, Mr. Official may have a running clock there. Yeah, I don't know. Sub coming in for Kentucky United. So, as we set. I got to think our defense has done a fantastic job of keeping scores down, and our offense has done a fantastic job scoring. I mean, we got 18 goals in the KPL, but I know in Premier 1, we got way more than that. Yeah, and those teams We rolled up on a couple of teams. You know, the Kansas City team, we beat up 9 nothing. And that's a Premier 1 game. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, they don't that's count towards of. KPL. No. So, yeah, we got got good stats somewhere. This one bouncing around, Cali. 
Riley, Anna, and then back to Callie now. Goes out of bounds, ends on the chase. So right now, Anna has a hat trick. All that right here does. in the last 10 minutes. Yeah, this half. Yeah. Yeah. Good deal. I want to say it's her second hat trick, at least. Throw into Riley. She makes a great turn. Riley battling through, tips it over to Anna. We just saw this look a minute ago, and they're just going to kick it out the back and give us another corner. 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 corner number five, five, I believe, right? Yes, sir. And Ava's got to run all the way to the back of the fence. Gosh. <laughs> You might be right on this, this portable tent portable thing or portable net fence. thing. Yeah, this little fence you just roll across the back of the end zone. So it's got to be like 50, 50 yards wide would be nice, and just where you can roll it out and roll it back up. You got this, Rick. It's a long, it's a long tent, man. <laughs> 50 yards is a long tent. Fence. Or fence. Yeah, 50 yards would be a long tent too, though. Yeah. Ava oh. with a great end. Ricochets off somebody's foot. I want to say McKenna, but I could be wrong. Comes back out. Mags. Go dump it in. Trying to catch Short the keeper hop. sleeping. Short hop. Bounce goal oh, by Maggie. Maggie. Maggie with a big goal for herself. I like it. Off the ricochet. Good work, Mag. Good work, Mags. Yeah. Good for Maggie. Defensive back getting a goal. Heck yeah. So that means Ella's had one this year that I know of from – position here that was on a uh, that was in Florida yeah on a corner kick and then yeah. Mag sends a beat down there all right elite up six nothing Ryland steals this one away takes it over gets it up to Ava Ava across to Cali Cali ricochets this one up it's gonna get turned back out and go out of bounds so Mags will come back and get a throw Tomorrow's Monday, Dave. <laughs> I know. I got a ton of work to do, too. It oh. started a little bit ago. One sick employee starts that ball rolling. <laughs> yeah, I see Dennis Walker down there taking pictures. He's set up in a chair. Check him out. He's down here in our right end zone. <laughs> he's got himself a chair. Oh, yeah, well, he's smart. He's kicking it. I think he needs now is an umbrella. Yeah. Another player from Kentucky United coming to the side. Going to check in. Kick up, ricochet across. McKenna's going to get to it. She drives through this one. McKenna still pushing. M taking up the pressure. Going to take it to the far side here. Nice touch by M. Just steals it away. Gets it up to Riley. Riley cuts the corner. Good job. Our girls can cut the turns really well today. Riley's going to pressure on through. She's got this. Slowing it down, puts brakes on. Going to roll it back. Cal, Cal picks it up. She's looking. Cali trying to battle through. Had three players there, just couldn't quite get all the way through. Well, they just out has the back to be a again. corner. Yeah. Oh, gosh, that's all the way over there. And the keeper's going to get changed out. Oh, yep. Yeah. So keeper change here. So they're taking one of the players on the field. It's going to throw on a penny and gloves. You know, this is growing paint, which we're very fortunate um, yeah. with yeah. our team. And we have one goalie, and yeah. she happens to be the best goalie in, I, I used to say three states, might be 17 states now, I don't know. But, you know, and she's, you know, Kate is very, oh, very tough, very rigid, very strong, doesn't get hurt, that kind of thing. But I'm not going some wood, you never know. You know what I mean, that kind of thing. And, yeah. Well, I mean, and, uh, honestly. She plays She's very strong, but, you know, the fact of the matter is having a quality goalie, um, and this is a big, big deal in any team, but, I mean, you know, we're, let's face it, you're one injury away, one illness away. Oh, uh, called that one back. Rowland had to go, but they called offside, I think. So what if, you know, what if Katie can't make it to a game? You know, what, what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just how. Dress Coach Paul up in a wig and have him shave his beard, and here we go. Ah, you can leave the beard nowadays. <laughs> Foul going the other way. Foul by United. Hmm. 
their fourth foul of the game, first of the second half. Another foul. I don't know which way. He's shaking his head no, but all right, to Anna. <laughs> And he's like, listen, buddy, we're only at five. We should be up in like 15 by mm -hmm. now. So you're He's like, on. I got this. All right. Ball in, free kick here, United. Nice driven ball. Girls block her out. Ella picks this one up out of the air. Turns, going to drop it to McKenna. Kenneth's going to take some space to her left, going to the far side, now catches M. M looks, drives the ball up, Riley. The keeper's going to run and kick this one out. We've got two players warming up, looks like Lily and Lauren. So just under 23 minutes here in the second half, your Eastern Elite 05 girls up six to nothing. Anna with a hat trick, Maggie pulling a goal from that defensive back position. And then... Uh, Ava, Lauren, it's a good mix of scoring here today. This one's going to come all the way back to McKenna. McKenna's going to look. She's going to drop this one to Kate. Kate's going to get it out to Molly. Molly's going to send it right back to her. All right, Kate getting a little bit of foot skill in here. Now she's going to drive it long there. Oh, went through Ava. Sorry. Now. United getting a little bit of space here at midfield. Callie steps up with pressure. Now Emerson up with pressure. Emerson blocks this one out. Riley gets to it, sends it back to Cal. Cal's going to dump this one back for McKenna. And I got to think McKenna's going to Katie. Yep. Since everybody's kind of turned that way into momentum, it's easier just to play it back to your keeper and let her play it back out. So she goes long looking for Riley. Riley on the run. Here she goes, turning on the Jets. Riley, one of our track stars as well. It's going to come into the box, draws a keeper up. Oh, just got a little bit too big of a touch there. Nice run by Riley. Good work. Punt up by the keeper. Going to bounce past midfield. Molly will pick this one up. Molly going to drop it back to LL. Is looking. <laughs> I think she was going to drop it to Katie, but she had so much space. She just like, ah, I can turn around and take my time. To Callie out there. minute mark. I know. I'm trying not to look at the clock. I don't know, but I just happened to glance up there. I know. I've been glancing at every 10 seconds. Boom, nice boom. drop by M. Riley. Ooh. Far post just misses. All right. Here comes the Lilster and Lauren back in. Rylan and Callie getting a break. Looks like Sophie's getting ready, headed to the line. And Eva will be next in. Ball in. Mags jumps all over this one. Mags wants another score. She's like, hey, I've done it once. I'll do it again. Ball over. Lily to Lauren. Lauren comes back across to the center of the field, gets it over to Ava. Ava makes a turn. She's going to try to sneak that one through for Mags. Mags was on that backside trying to sneak past the defender. Got intercepted, but Ava's not going to let the turn happen. They got to drop it back and drive it. Ball up. Miley picks this one up. It's going to get across to McKenna. Up to Emerson. This one's going up, and uh, it's going to be played out of bounds. Yeah, it's going to be a throw. And we have some subs. I think you may already announce who those are. Yeah, it's going to be Soph and Eva coming in. Miley coming off. Moran going out also. Dave, you're grounded. Happy birthday, Rick. <laughs> All right. <coughs> All right, just don't post that. Why would I do that to you, Rick? Because. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's getting posted. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Anna with the throw into our attacking third. Played around. Lauren picks it up. Ah, just a little bit out of reach there. United plays it up in the air. Mag's going to track this one down. And again, not much pressure by United right now. They're just uh, grinding it out. 
but they're not jumping on anything hard like they were in the first half. It's six to nothing. Yeah, I mean it's that's what they can do. I understand. It's hot. We've been out there an extra half hour. This is gonna sneak Ooh. through, yeah. They're gonna call offside. And offside, yep. Man, this is we've had more offside in this one game than we have all season. We went a long time there without getting an offside now. It's Jim Wyler's over there harassing our coaches. Oh yeah, he definitely is. He went and got a bag of ice. Look at him. Jim's the man. Mm -hmm. Such a great soccer team dad. He's very diligent about making sure everybody has water and <laughs> taking care of stuff. I like it. United working up a little bit. McKenna with pressure. <laughs> I got This one gets across. Katie's going to pick it up. I got to laugh at McKenna. She kept putting the brakes on and windmill in her arms. She's like, go stop, go stop. <laughs> Ken has a pretty decent reach with those things. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like her basketball season. She had her arms up. This one out to Soph. Soph out here wide by herself. Now there's the cross. Ooh. Boy, United player took a risk there. She hit that one up. Her keeper was coming out to grab it. Is that corner six or seven? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Seven. I do corner know. seven. I was lying. I do know. The referee. The referee's taking a breather on his hands on his knees. What the heck is that about? He's, he's like, hot yeah. also. Yeah, he's like, it's 90 degrees, and I'm dying out here. So if it's 90 out, the turf's got to be like 110. Ava taking the corner. Nice ball up. That's Oh, oh my gosh. Lily headed it back up. It's still rolling. Oh, really? So close. Lily tried to drive that one to the top of the net, and the keeper just got in the way enough. So Lily with two shots in a row. Keeper. 16 and a half minutes, Davey. Which probably isn't accurate. It's probably ah, shorter than that. But, you know, some of these folks that we go and at these up, these large tournaments we play in, Premier One and all that stuff, you'll see you'll see them have two goalies, first half, second half, and all of them are quality. Yeah. So six nothing here. Your O five girls. Oh, they're tracking a ball. Yeah, keep it. Lily kicked a field goal. It went all the way back to this. <laughs> Jimmy Wilder going back across the track. It's bad news in the game when our entertainment's tracking where Jim Wilder is. Man, that I'm telling you what, that right there was over a minute tracking that ball. Yeah. And uh well oh, they're playing, playing short. It short. Yeah. yeah. It'll be, oh, let the ball's going out. Eva got a touch on it, and then uh, M got a touch on it. Now back to Eva, now back to M. They're going to call a foul. All right. A foul. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that one didn't even seem that rough. That's throwing. I didn't even see him get thrown down. It wasn't a foul. It was just the ball was out. Oh, okay. Never mind on the foul. Back to McKenna. Up, Lauren punches it up again. Looking for Eva. All right, so we've had a couple changes here. Katie still in a keeper. McKenna, Ella, and Mags, your back line. Sophie and Emerson, your wings. Lily, that holding mid. Lauren and Ava, your centers. And Eva mm -hmm. and Rachel Moran are your forwards. Cross to Ava. Ava looking. Dumps this one in for Rachel. Gets pushed back out by United, and they're just going to try to kick it to the side. And then they just kick it right back. Oh, gosh, just giving the ball back and forth here. So this will be elite throw. And Soph will take it. She's just going to drop it to Mags. No worries there. Mags back to Ella. Ella across midfield. That's what we like to see. Up to Lauren. Through for Eva. Touch. She took it around her. Can she get back to it? Oh, my gosh. So close, Eva. Nice. Nice, nice move work. around the keeper, yep. but that defensive back it was, was sharp. Sure. And she saw it coming and got around it. Whew. Oh, so close. All right. Throw in again. This is going up to Ava. Ava turns. Lays it over for Lauren. Lauren. That was a good Every defense. Lily, Lily's going to shoot this one. Go! Go! By Lily, Boy Lily with the hands in the air. She's like, finally. 
All right. All right, all right. So, go by Lily. With an assist to Lauren. The hurricane connection there. What are we up to? Seven nothing? Yep. Seven nothing. All right, all right. Let's go add a score on here. There we go. McKenna tracking this one back. Fed in a little deep. Oh, kicks it up. Sent right back up. Lily's going to intercept this one out of the air. Gets it up to Lauren. Lauren looking. Back to Lily. There it is. There it is. Oh, oh, good work by their keeper. Yep. Keeper ran up and saved that one. All right. Nice punt up by the keeper. Played out of the air by Kentucky. Lauren on the chase. This one's going to roll back. McKenna. She's going to play this one back to Kate. Had the forward coming on. Kate's going to look here. Gets it to Ella. Ella now. Drawing the defender. Up to Soph. Good work. Our girls have good field awareness. Yeah, They're no really, question. You know, that's a great tactical move. I mean, we're we're up seven nothing, but Ella's still doing what needs to be done. You know, drew the defender, made the pass around, advanced the ball up. Now she's going. Ella's going to block this one down past midfield, right back up at Lily. Lily David, right back across the Lily. La la Lily. Lily. Jeez. Over to M. You don't know what Lily's short for. Here's, Could be. Here's Lauren. Uh, I was thinking Lauren and Lily are standing close to each other. I wasn't sure which one I was going to say. Anyway, Lauren, cross. Oh. Sophie off of Eva. Sophie on top of the ball, off the ball. Gets shuttled out. United trying to get around Ava. That's not going to happen. And then Sophie comes back in, jumps on the ball. Picked up by Mags. Now Lily, cross to Ava. Ava, turn. The girl's showing some great technical work here. Now Lauren pressing through. United's going to kick this one back out. McKenna steps up. Now McKenna with pressure. Yeah. Oh, he's going to call it for it. <laughs> She's like, I got fat all day. I got to get in on this deal. Yeah. Well, the girls cruising here 7 to nothing. We got 11 minutes left in this half, Rick. We haven't discussed dinner. Trying to look at some results here from yeah, when. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I can't find Free it. Free kick Bring in. It. This one's – you got time. It doesn't matter. The ball's rolling out the back. McKenna's going to let it go. Not out the back, out the side. Did they go through? Seven. All right, that's seven. Coach is over here keeping track of the the <laughs> other statistics for us. I didn't even see it. Ah, you got my dad in doing it. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> we get everybody playing this game. All right, ball from – Ella up to Mags, now over to Ava, and then Lily's going to take it to the center of the field. Threads it through. Look at this. Catches Lauren on the run, and the keeper's going to run out and grab it. Or Eva. Sorry, that was Eva on the run. That was almost brilliant. Bloody brilliant, as those across the pond would say. Throw in by him. Eva makes a turn. Sneaks this one across one player. Didn't get through the rest. And they're going to kick it out of bounds. All the way to the fence. Send him. Yeah, Emerson said, I'll get it. Nine thirty-five. In with the throw. Going to drop it back. M gets it right back. Now sends it on back to Lauren again. Lauren going to take this one to the keeper. The keeper bobbles it. 
Sophie was there waiting on it, but the keeper made the save. All right. We're peppering the shots. Mags across to Lily. Lily by herself at midfield. Up to Ava. Back to Lauren. Back to Ava. <laughs> Ava keeps trying to sneak it through between those two players, and they just keep stepping in just enough. Lauren wins it right back, though. Now Lauren will get it through, but she's going to be offside. Off the far post anyway. It's six offside, Rick. Six. Mm, that's about a man we've had all year. I, I combined. I like yeah, I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> but I think the defense is just slower than what we're used to dealing with. And the girls, um, they're just used to, you know, going and the defense going with them. This defense is not. Don't be yawning, Rick. Can't help it. I don't know. It's mean, a little mean, rough. I just yawned myself. <laughs> 820. You know, at least we don't have to tear all this stuff down, though. I mean. Yeah, this is true. No generator and all that other junk. We have Kale here to wheel the cart for us, so we're in good shape. Yeah, there's nothing in it, really, so. That's all right. Make him wheel it anyway. He's a teenager. Earn his keep. Like the way you think. Yeah. Yeah, we got Coach up here with us. Yeah, he's not watching the game. He's watching <laughs> the <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> I got nothing yet, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. The way we entertain ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this one's rolling back to Ella. You know, and they're missing their, their forward that was pressuring everybody. They don't have that forward in right now, so they're not getting any pressure on our defense at all. Offside. Dang on it. Rachel getting called Number offside. Number seven. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I know. It's going to be a heck of a drive home. <sighs> I can't go have a drive home, I think. Eight, Coach. Eight. You missed it. We got you up here for one reason. <laughs> I beat him to it because the car is the same color as the restaurant. It just snuck through there. <laughs> What are we waiting on? Oh, the ball. Of course, I know what we're waiting on. I think Kells are looking like he's about to sleep. Yeah, I think they're out. <laughs> yeah, we got a good press box crew today. Kale and Michaela on the press box on the uh, scoreboard duty. They do not look thrilled. <laughs> and uh, Rick up here running the camera, and Coach here keeping an eye on our restaurant statistics. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, that's so flippin' funny. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, we stuck him right in front of the beam here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you can see is the, yeah, the restaurant. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> He's like, I got it, boys. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our girls, 7 nothing right now. Eastern League, we're here in beautiful Prestonsburg, Kentucky. And what a day. It Other is a beautiful being, day, man. It's hotter sure. than what we're used to. It's It's a nice day. Yeah, it's almost summer. I mean, yeah. every day will be like this before yeah, long. Yeah, used to it, I guess. But this will feel good. Uh, yeah, in a couple long, weeks. Right? Yeah. yeah. But I came here in those days, it was only 83. Man, I'm I'm a little worried about my Elizabethtown hotel deal. You know what? I grabbed my phone to look at that. And I don't recall to, uh, anything about Elizabethtown. Yeah, preliminaries. Now, you know, and that's always stacked. It's hard to get a room there. I'm going to be staying we're like not an hour away. We're, we're not playing. That's over Memorial Day. We're not playing um, Saturday. Because of Sunday Monday graduation, yeah, Sunday Monday. Okay. We're going Saturday. Actually, we might be going Friday. I don't know when we're going. There's going to be a team dinner, I'm sure, on on Saturday. But um, yeah, we'll miss it. We'll be at Kell's graduation. Yeah, graduation exactly. My aunt Tanya and Uncle Peter coming in from Florida. Awesome. Excited for that. All right, up to Eva. Everybody on side this go around. That's nice. Eva working her way across. Gets it back to Lauren. Lauren ooh, got in a battle there. United comes up with it. Lauren's going to come right back. Now McKenna steps up, forces the ball out wide, and this is going to go out of bounds. United coach getting a foot on it. Had a boy. He's going back to the fence to get the ball. That's nice of that coach. He didn't have to. Under five minutes. Woo. Ball played up. McKenna up to M. The silent assassin on the far side. She's going to dump this one up for Eva, and this one's going to roll and go out of bounds. Dennis Walker getting some foot skills in. Oh, oh, don't drop those cameras. There we go. Nice drag back by Dennis. I sent you um, 
hotel information of where we're staying in the dates. I'll probably change the dates. Yeah. Just because we don't play on uh, Saturday now. Okay. Yeah, that's, that seems so weird. I remember we talked about graduation and all that jazz, and then only we were able to make it. But I, for the life of me, I can't remember anything about a hotel in Elizabeth town. So those are the dates. But, you know, it's hard to tell what I remember nowadays. I'm getting old, Rick. I'm not 50 yet, but I'm getting there. Me either, baby. <laughs> you got another, what is it, next Thursday? Next Thursday. Yeah, we're going to celebrate again. No, nah, we're good. State track meet. How about a state championship? Oh, there you track. Go. That'll be a good birthday gift. That like we be. got space. Ava, and we got it. She's no, a little heavy. Oh man, the, ah, the defender got enough of an arm on her. Game. Okay, good. Oh, did he blow the? Yeah. Oh. All right, that's game. So seven zero final shutout city. Yep, that's good work by our girls. Yeah, we like the shutouts. Now let's pack up and go eat. I hear you. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so. Folks, there's a lot of people that scored. <sighs> yeah. Uh, they didn't score. We had a lot of offsides. We had some fouls. Yeah. And we had some corners. I'm not sure if they even had a corner kick. They did not. I don't recall them having one. Katie had some saves. Their keeper had some saves. That wraps it up. There you go. I'll say uh, real quick, Anna had a hat trick. Maggie got a big defensive goal. Lily got a big defensive goal. And then Ava and Lauren were the other two. So good work by the offense. Fantastic work by the defense. And, uh, hey, after being here forever, <laughs> <laughs> seems like it. We're gonna, let's pack this up. We, you know, we'll be back in two weeks. Or, no, we'll be back next Sunday for the scrimmage. From Shawnee for the – Yeah, yeah so the that, that'll be a good game. Should be a good game. Should be a great game. Yeah. It's our tune-up before we head to State yeah. Cup. A little more exciting weekend. than this game, I believe. So we'll go with that. All right, folks, thank you. Yes, we'll be back next Sunday. Everybody have a great rest of their week.